Hello everyone and welcome back to Avengers United Battle Force. This time we are playing as the Submariner and we have a new enemy type, these fellows with the claws. They only do one thing and that's charge directly at you, so we need to intercept them before they get to us because they are fast. The Submariner has a special attack that's really good at intercepting them where we launch them into the air or we can just charge at them in return as we are pretty fast. Not as fast as uh, Quicksilver mind you, but Submariner is definitely one of the faster characters. It's best to play this segment as a 2D side-scrolling section and not move up or down too much at all, otherwise you will end up falling into the pit and losing a whole life. Anyway, in addition to the Submariner's charging uppercut attack, you can also shoot a wave of water, which is good for stopping enemies that are charging at you as well. So he has a lot of options for, those, for the new enemy type, the Claw. It is also worth pointing out that Submariner has an excellent forward and backward throw. Normally only one of the throws is useful, but with Submariner both types of throws are important. His backwards throw is almost on par with Thor's backwards throw, and his forward throw isn't quite as strong, but it's more than enough to throw enemies off any cliffs you might see on the screen. That golem just fell off the pit himself, and I'm okay with that. The biggest and perhaps only downside to the Submariner is that his only projectile attack is his ultimate. And his ultimate is rather strong. Having it a uh, straightforward projectile is actually a huge, uh, a huge benefit. But it is his only projectile move. As you're seeing here, the way I deal with crowds of enemies with Submariner is with that charging uppercut. He does a slash in midair, like that. Yeah, it makes the move rather devastating compared to some of the other characters' special attacks. And as you saw, Submariner is fast enough to outrun bullets. Not the fastest character, but he may be the second fastest. I mean, it's true, the Submariner is a pretty strong dude, so I don't have any issues with this portrayal of him. He's also really fun to play with, mostly because of that charging uppercut slash of his. I just never get tired of using that. The Water Wave may seem underwhelming, but it's good if you ever just need a shield up in front of you ASAP. Most of the time, though, you can you can use the charging uppercut instead. So, this is the part where the level gets a little bit, uh, screwy. Having multiple claw enemies on the screen, that's fine. That's an expected level of challenge, you know? And it is difficult, but it's nothing we can't handle. We just have to act fast, but... The lightning, on the other hand, is a little unexpected. They're certainly not so bad when they come in short bursts like that. So these golem guys, they're, uh, they're a little bit more difficult without Beast Robot Buddy on hand. And since they can't be knocked over, you want to spend as little time close to them as possible. They still don't have a lot of health, though. I completely misjudged the perception on that lightning bolt. I thought we were in the clear. For a moment, I think moving over to the right side of the screen is a good idea. And then, oh yeah, lightning bolts. So you've seen these enemy types before, even if you may not realize them. These fellows with the electric weaponry, they were, uh, they were helping out Trapster. They were the ones that electrified the ground. This fellow riding around in the green dork mobile is no concern, especially when compared to the forklifts we've already seen plenty of times before now. He's really a piece of cake, does minimal damage. Actually, I say plenty of times, but we may have only seen the forklift once in the first stage when we were playing as Quicksilver. I'm not sure if we've seen it after that. So yeah, it's not like this screen so far has been particularly difficult, it just takes a while. But uh, there is something upcoming that I really don't like about this stage, maybe I'm just not understanding something about how I should be playing the game. Yeah, I have no idea how he's supposed to see that coming or dodge it in time. I mean, it's not like it deals a lot of damage, but the other lightning bolts gave you a brief period of time to see them coming and move out of the way. That one, not so much. I mean, sure, if you memorize the level, I'm sure you could figure out where to stand to avoid it, but it comes out of nowhere, and asking you to memorize a game with this many screens, even if the game isn't that long, is a little bit, little bit much. You could never defeat me! Leave it for me! Hydra's version of Thor, as the game puts it, isn't all that bad, though he does have some moves I immensely disagree with. The one I dislike the most is when he holds his hammer up in the air, 
and summons random lightning flashes that are difficult to predict. Yeah, the one he did just there. If he uses that the whole fight, it can be it can become incredibly frustrating to play. He has another one where he summons two lightning bolts in front of him, which isn't so bad. Be yeah, like that, because you can easily dodge that, just move up or down. But yeah, that... how do you dodge that? I have no idea. It comes out of the sky instantaneously, and you have almost no time to react. I suppose you could attack him while his hammer's in the air before the lightning strikes, but that's not a lot of time to work with, and even with the character as fast as the Submariner, it may not pan out. But aside from that, Fake Thor is a pretty chill boss battle. I guess this is it. 